we're settled into the van for our first night sleeping in here. It's really comfortable with the fan going right now. We'll see later in the night. I don't know. I feel like we have like plenty of room. Like I feel really good sleeping in here. We have a lot of gear in here right now. So the fact that we have like a whole bunch of stuff right here and it doesn't feel crowded. It might look like it, but it doesn't feel like it at all. I feel like I have a whole bunch of room. Look at You can do whatever that is. <laughs> yeah, it feels like pretty satisfying right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, the fans feeling nice. We even tested it out on uh, the warmest night of the year so far. Mm -hmm. Warmest day of the year, at least. Yeah. Um, so if we can handle this, I feel like we're in pretty we're good shape. Good shape. Yes. We are sleeping at a truck stop, and this is probably our last adventure that we won't be bringing the van with us. On. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're enjoying our first night in here and uh, looking forward to our adventures to come. Kaylee's birthday in a couple of days, so we decided to take a little trip. Woo! This is one of our happy places. We always have fun here, always. Woo it's so nice to be back. Just a good feeling walking through here. <laughs> We're just so psyched. <laughs> this is so awesome. We are going to eat our first meal here. We haven't tried the crepe place yet. There's a little stand where they have sweet and savory crepes and they have the vegan version. So uh, it's a chicken and cilantro and arugula and avocado and a vinaigrette. It just all sounds good. Looks awesome. We're ready. E.T. was really cool to ride first. Yeah, we sh that should be like a thing that we do every time we come here now. It's like, the, it's the only original ride from opening day left here. And just the smell of it is like nostalgia. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. And then now we're in line for Woody Woodpecker's, what is it? I don't know. Not, ha I Not don't know. House something. We've never ridden this one before, so. Are you making new friends? Oh my god, he scared me. He was just there. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> he really like legit scared me. I know. We did the Bourne Stuntacular, and neither of us are very into uh, the Bourne series of movies, but it's incredible. And there was like a minor technical hiccup halfway through, and it like really went to show how uh, like technologically advanced the show is. It's really something. We're now at Mel's Diner, and we're gonna have some Beyond Burgers. 
And they're gonna be so tasty. They said, hey, man, Donkey, look, we, we, we heard what Farquaad did to you with Shrek. So what we gonna do is, we gonna keep y'all over here, but all them other DreamWorks characters and fairy tale creatures gonna get put in the other swamp. And I was like, you know what? I like the loyalty. I'll sign. You ready? I'm ready. I like the discarded We made it to Diagon Alley. We saved it for the end of the day. I'm really glad that we did. It's the perfect way to end the day. Well, we're not ending it yet. Not but. quite. <laughs> but the day's wrapping up. Uh, the sun's starting to set and it's getting cooler and windy and it's just so cool back here. Mm -hmm. It's the best part of Universal Studios. I agree, sure. I agree. So what are you drinking? I have a butter beer, just a regular cold one because it's so good, so, so good. Um, what did you get? I got a Wizards Brew. It's like a porter of some kind that they make just for the park. It's really good. It's my favorite of the Wizard beers. We were walking back to sit on these stairs with our drinks, and we saw one of our favorite YouTubers, uh, Rick from Rick's Flicks. It's right there. He yeah. is. Look at. He's right there. He's the one there with the yellow shirt holding the camera up above the crowd. That's Rick what he does and he's great at it. Right on! Hey! Well, thanks, thanks Thanks for that. How are you guys doing? Yeah. Hufflepuff. Oh, you're okay too, but Hufflepuff in the house. I see your, your pass holders. Yep. So you get out down here more than once a year. Good. You doing the live stream right now? Yeah, right now you're live. So, happy birthday. And he's got, uh, she's got a butter beer. What you drinking there? Wizard's Brew. All right. <laughs> bye bye. Bye guys. Before we went on the trip, I was saying how much I really hoped we would run into Rick. And we ran into him in the first night and we did a little fan fan girl, <laughs> fan boy moment. It was really it was really nice. He's a great guy. Yeah, he was really cool. It was really cool to meet him. He was he was in the middle of doing a, uh, the live stream, but he took time out and to say hi, and it was really cool. So. I rudely shouted out, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun, and he turned right around. <laughs> that's, his, that's his catchphrase, so. Yeah, so. Uh, thanks, Rick, for being, for being cool and thanks, uh, putting up with us. So we have about an hour and a half before the park closes for the night, but we're gonna be right back here tomorrow morning, so we're just here to take in the atmosphere for a bit uh, before we see the end of night show. Here is 
all shiny. He looks <laughs> like they just pulled him out of the water. Hey, Bruce. Okay. We're wrapping up the night with a cinematic celebration. There's like a water show and fireworks and stuff that happens out over the lagoon. We have some vegan melts from a little food truck. This is gonna be a nice wrap up to our first day here. We had a really good first day. We did. We did a lot. We did. And we'll be waking up really early tomorrow and having a full day tomorrow. We got big stuff happening tomorrow. Oh, yeah. It's 8 a.m. and we're back at Universal for our day two. We're about to have some breakfast. We're at the Today Cafe and we're gonna have some croissants, we're gonna have some avocado toast. to get on Transformers the ride. And it's uh, one of the really good ones. Even though we're not huge Transformers fans, it's pretty sweet. So when you get an annual pass, you're usually supposed to keep it in your little pouch here on a lanyard. We decided to get a pin every time we come here together. These are from the last two times we were here together. And then we just picked out our new pins for this time. I got my favorite area in either park is Nocturne Alley. Took a little video of uh, the entrance to it yesterday. And I have one of Dobby. The house elf. The house elf. Isn't he cool? Look at friend. Where we're going, we don't need roads. <laughs> We're about to do the Simpsons ride. This is your what, least favorite, probably? Probably, only because last time I got nauseous on it, so. I don't, a, I don't really get sick on rides, so that one made me sick. It's a motion simulator, and they, they basically just put a new movie in front of the Back to the Future ride and called it the Simpsons ride, but we're gonna give it another shot, we'll see. Yeah. After riding uh, the Simpsons ride for the second time, we don't hate it as much as we did the first time, uh, but Kaylee still got a little motion sick. Now we're gonna ride Men in Black Alien Attack, which is a fun like uh, shooter ride where you can shoot aliens and stuff. It's a really fun one.
time for the infamously bad Fast and the Furious ride. So one thing that we were trying to do this time is ride a bunch of stuff that we rode like once or twice mm -hmm. and decided we didn't like. This is one of them. We'll see if we change our opinions after riding it this time. I changed my opinion a little bit with the Simpsons ride, so maybe... It wasn't as bad. Yeah, yeah maybe this will be different, so who knows. Don't make me turn this bus around. Also, all party goers must have their own seat. All right, so what's the verdict? Um, still don't like it. <laughs> still pretty disappointing, unfortunately. The CGI is not very good. It's not very thrilling. It's, it's fine, though. It's pretty silly, and it's pretty short. And to me, the effects just don't uh, work very well. Yeah. Like, you don't feel like you're driving fast. It feels like you're just sitting there, and the screen's doing and things. And bobbing around. And yeah fog comes out at you, but that's, it's not very Glad we tried it out. And me too, me too. I'm glad that we wrote it, but uh, I haven't changed my opinion yeah, on Yeah, I think it's still, it's probably my second least favorite after Jimmy Fallon, which we're going to do next. <laughs> Woohoo! All the Jimmys. All the Jimmys. So as cheesy as Jimmy Fallon is, and as much as I didn't like that ride before, I think it's better than Fast and the Furious. It that is. might be the worst ride. Yeah, <laughs> I was I was just gonna say, if, if you still held that opinion, because I, that's definitely way better than Fast and the Furious. Yeah, it is. The, the effects are better, and the, the wind and everything, it's more fun. Well, yeah, sure. it's just more like visually fun and more interesting yeah. than, than uh, it's just racing in a bus. So. Even while being cheesier, it's less cringy somehow, so. Most of the candy is not vegan, but the edible dark mark, lollipop, and the puking pastilles are both vegan, so I get to try my very first wizarding candies. I'm now standing over by the entrance to Nocturne Alley. I figured this was a good place to try out uh, my new candy. So I'm gonna go with the puking pastilles first. I don't know what these are. So it's like a hard candy of some sort. Watermelon, I think. It's tasty. Is it like chewy or like hard? It's a hard candy. Like it's it very large to try to like <laughs> talk. It's like maybe green apple and watermelon or something like that. Huh. Good. Hopefully it won't make you puke. Hopefully. They're very large to eat. I'm having a really hard time. So I think we'll save this sucker for later. Mm -hmm. Got 
Some require a key, while others have more deadly outcomes. Do you have any pets? No, sir. Not even a dog? No. Oh. <laughs> Does he who must not be named still have a bank account here? I suppose so. See you later. Hello. Ending our day at Universal Studios. We did every ride here except for Rip Ride Rocket and Despicable Me and Minion Mayhem. So we had to do those two rides uh, later in the week, but we did all the rides other than that. Now we're going to take the Hogwarts Express over to Islands of Adventure and spend some time riding some rides over there. We have to continue our uh, trip in the Wizarding World later because we've got to see about a dinosaur. <laughs> Just follow the screams. Time for a wardrobe change before we go into Jurassic Park. Yeah, don't what's mind happening? me. I'm just changing in public. It's fine. Do you guys like my shirt? 